So, welcome back again with RB and Eclipse Motorcycles final ride on this for customer Lexmoto Michigan 125 Euro 5 and we're going to get this one out very very quickly I've got a lot of bikes to do today so the final test ride on this get out let's have a run and let's enjoy 33 degrees of heat yes it's 33 degrees today I am cooking already in my bike jacket, hence why we're going to get a shifty shifty and get some air through me, air in my face as they say. So, nice wide mirrors as always, five speed box, we're off. Oh, and I'm cooking already. I've only done, I think, three quarters of a mile and I am cooking in my pants, as they say. But I'd rather be sweating than losing a layer of skin riding around in shirt sleeves. So, out we get into check it, uh, into traffic. <laughs> Second gear pull away, just to see what she's like. Third, fourth, fifth, and we're away. Right. Nice steady 40 mile an hour. Now the display on this very very easy to see. One little clock sat right in the middle. Miles an hour on the inside of the clock, so pretty easy to see where we're going. And it is blindingly bright today. Right, that's better. Internal sun visor down. Yes, it is absolutely blistering hot, which is good because it shows how good the tyres are in on that combined braking we and stops right let's pull down through the gearbox just to see what it's like just clicking through at a standstill ever so easy it comes straight down from fifth down to first and we are off down the dual carriageway for a ride we're going to go something slightly different today we are going to get in what we're going to do is have a run around town. Ain't going to find any shade anywhere today. And I've got a lot more bikes to do. So, 40 to 45 mile an hour, watching that mirror. Nice and steady. And we're going to start ramping up the mileage on this. So, what's the Michigan like? Nice high bars. I love bike where you're absolutely bolt upright and feet are just in front sort of cruiser style but with those nice high bars got perfect riding position it's not going to make your arms ache leaning forward over a tank you've got a bit of wind resistance to push you back onto the bike so it seats you very very good on this one now People say to me, what is the Michigan like? Is it really, really good? Can you vouch for it? Yes, I can. A couple of riders that I do know that have these, and obviously MT Belly, he's got his own channel on YouTube. He has one of these in, I believe, red. He's got a red one. You've got uh, Faye from Tins on Tour, very, very big YouTube channel, Tins on Tour. And Faye had one of these right up to the point where she did her mod to and sold it. And the person that's got it now is still loving it. A lot of the people that follow my YouTube channel all have Michigans. And they all say they are really, really good bikes to ride. So a little bit more money than your standard ZSB or your Assault or your Iska. But if you're looking for a cruiser style bike, you're not going to go far wrong with a Michigan if you look after it. And as for those people that go, oh yes, but they rust every Chinese bike I know, rust, any bike will rust. Simple fact, any bike will rust in the British weather, just due to the amount of road dirt, salt, and acid rain at the moment that you're going to get. So, the obligatory coat of ACF 50 all over the bike, or a rust preventer, will stop any of that. Come on up waffling, my speed's dropped off. Right, let's get back up to 40. <laughs> we'll sit there at 36. And that's the other thing. People say to me, oh, you bundle down the A5 and you're doing 40 mile an hour. Isn't it dangerous? No, it's not. If I was on a 50cc ped, flat out, I'm going to be doing 30 to 35 mile an hour. 
all the roads in Milton Keynes are all a dual carriageway so you can't get out of it if your main road is a dual carriageway and it's the only way to work unfortunately unless you go a longer route or back roads you're going to have to travel a dual carriageway but as long as you're being aware of the traffic and you're doing your sevens you'll be safe as houses and that is what someone else asked me actually on one of my rides what are the sevens very simply it's limit points and where you should be looking and you should be doing it every 30 seconds at least so the seven is looking to the distance i'm looking at the very top of the off ramp position one and two because that's where i'm going to be going that is one and two three and four are now going to be where the edge of the bridge is left and right five is that mirror six is my display seven is my outside mirror and as fat boy slim says check repeat that is what you do so i'm going to be moving over thank you very much and one two three four five six seven bmw's up the inside of me keep me eye on where he is once again furthest point behind the van boom boom three four five six seven once you start learning to do those sevens they become muscle memory if you watch any of my videos where i'm at riding my big bike you'll see my head constantly twitches you don't hear me saying it but normally i'm waffling on a little bit of head movement and you'll notice that i am doing the sevens it's a bit naughty scoot around the inside of the car typical van driver might we shall come back here out the way leaves me an escape lane down the outside should one of the things you should be doing as well keeping your eye on a mirror and watching your escape lane keep an eye on that car behind and the one behind if someone slams him or someone comes in a little bit hot over my shoulder i literally hit the clutch pull out the way so it's all about keeping a rear view In the silver one coming in behind he's leaving a good distance checking at my junction obviously if that goes green i'm still going to be looking left in case someone decides they want to run the red light so you should all be checking anything like that all the time oh, look at these creepers both sides of me we have the creepers and i'm still away before everybody else <laughs> Oh, love it quick shoulder check into the lane we're going back on the a5 back down in the first dominating the lane indicator set up covering my rear brake ready for a pull off and that is one thing you should be doing at a junction at least one foot on one brake whether it's front or a rear but you should be covering your brake all the time In that mirror again back on the dual carriageway we go up into fifth gear 42 mile an hour watching that mirror to the offside car behind me checking the lane behind shoulder check final shoulder check should do at least two and uh, moving out into traffic There we go, and he's gone round the outside of me, which is good. So, we are seven and a bit miles in. A little bit more to do, final bit of the ride test mileage. Head back to the garage, cup of coffee. Quick puff of the vape, and then back out on the next bike. And for those of you that obviously follow the channel, yes, I'll be quit smoking. It is now 
<laughs> five weeks tomorrow that I give up I gave up smoking so doing very very well for myself on the bait no nicotine so I would say if you are looking to quit smoke you shouldn't be doing it in the first place get yourself a vape it works wonders really does work wonders right we shall come off here quick shoulder check a bit of round town urban mileage nice bike we're gonna head back to the garage ride on the Michigan is all good sweet and hunky adory As always, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the notifications, follow all the social medias, it'd be nice to see you on there. But until next time, we're out riding, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.